Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Huntsville, Alabama, to my little slice of heaven here in southeastern Ohio, the new addition to the ham shack. Let's get it open. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what I have here in front of me, all the way from Giga Parts in Alabama, is what's this thing called? I don't even remember what it's called. A U Ubitex or something like that. Oh shoot, what is it? Uh, I forgot what it's even called. U B I T X version six. Ubit Ubitex maybe. It's a H F uh, radio, of course. Uh, it does sideband and CW. There's no, like, directions, but there's, like, a paper that tells you. Right, right there, that's the main board. Lowercase u and the big rest of the other stuff, version 6. Uh, and that is the radio itself. And then all this other stuff comes with it. Uh, it is a QRP radio. I do believe it does 10 watts, or it's rated at 10 watts. Uh, don't, don't exactly remember what it was. Uh, I think I ordered it four days ago, and... I've already forgot everything about it. Now, this is sort of like a knockup of a knockoff of a cheapest kind of radio that you could ever imagine. Chinese or Japanese, I think, or something. I don't know. Uh, India. I think it's from India. They make it there. Uh, but it is, from my understanding, one of the cheapest little radios that you can get. Cheapest HF radio that does sideband and CW. Uh, and when I say cheap, I mean inexpensive, but it... I'm sure it's got some cheap qualities to it, too. Uh, toroid looks like it was shorted out, leaning up against the other one there. I don't know if that's good or not. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm looking at here. I mean, a lot of the stuff I do know, obviously, but uh, 521 is the number on this one. Okay. That's, uh, this is the brains of the operation. That bad boy in there. Uh, there's the other. This will be the touch screen. <clears throat> what do they call this thing? I can't remember. Uh, F521 on this one, too. Uh, what's this called? I hope that's not cracks. Oh, cool. <laughs> I thought it was cracked. It's just the, the protector did what it was supposed to do. This is an Arduino and a radio something. I can't remember. It's a Reduino, I think is what they call them. No, anyway, it'll be a touch screen here, and this will go in the front and hook down into this dude, and uh, I'll get to that. Comes with a little speaker. Uh, it's a 10 watt 4 ohm speaker. A uh, bag of tricks. Got a little, little stylus in there. That white thing's a little stylus. Cause, yeah, it is a touch screen. Uh, various knobs and uh, rotary pots and such and so on. A uh, little microphone. A Bofang, or Bofang, however you say it, microphone. Interesting. And what I understand is uh, you can also use, when you're in CW mode, you can use the key uh, as your as your CW key, or your, your PTT as a CW key. That'll be something cool to play with, I guess. And then the top of the radio and the back of the radio, whatever it goes together, yeah, just a little box. Uh... The reason I decided to get this thing was I've been wanting a QRP radio, and what am I doing here? All right, get on there. Uh, I've been wanting a QRP radio, and bumping the, the stand, and I wasn't really sure which way to go. There's so many different QRP radios that are really, really good. I know Jack squat about this one, so I kind of took a chance at it, and it's 200 bucks for this whole thing. You have to put it together. They also sell a model that doesn't come with a case or a speaker. Uh, the microphone, it comes with a microphone guts. It doesn't come with the actual housing of the microphone. And I think it's like 100 bucks or something or 120 or something. Uh, Gigaparts sells this one. I don't know if they sell the one without the, the case. I think like eBay or something. Or you can go to their website, which I can't even remember what it was. I'll put it in the annotations. Uh... Yeah, but this is going to be my little QRP radio for this weekend. I'm going to try to get this together, and if everything works good, then I'll be taking it out this weekend. And uh, seeing if I can actually make some contacts on this bad boy. 
I'm gonna power it off a of battery and uh, probably off a, I don't know if I'll take the mag loop. I might take a, a little dipole and just throw it up in the air and see what happens and play around with it. But uh, anyway, just a little teaser for today. We'll see, see what this happens. Uh, the next video will probably be tomorrow or the day after, after this thing is assembled. And hopefully it gets assembled and hopefully it works. I'm just noticing all these crystals in here. That's pretty cool, all those crystals. They're silver things. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, everybody, so uh, stick around, and we'll see what this bad boy can do on the next, the next video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the little bell thing, you know, for the notifications, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the drill. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good one.